Yo, what is up y'all? Hope y'all are having a nice day. And in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is a very easy working rapid card duplication glitch here in GTA 5 Online. Uh, so very, very cool guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. As you can see here, we do need a friend to help us out. Our friend does not need any special requirements or anything like that. He's just going to help us out here in this video. Alright. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into some requirements. Now, if you are the one duplicating, you will need an MOC, and make sure in Bay 3 you do have the personal vehicle storage. Uh, it does not matter what is stored back there or if there is anything stored back there. Uh, in addition to that, we will need a arena. All right, that's what I'm going to be using here in this video. Uh, you can also use um, a facility, a nightclub, a arcade, uh, or a casino penthouse garage. But uh, I will be using the arena here in this video. Make sure you do have the car you are looking to duplicate stored in the arena or whatever whatever property you are using to duplicate here. Make sure you do have the vehicle you are looking to duplicate stored inside. We will also need to order some Fagios. These could be stored anywhere but the MC Clubhouse. Now we will be duplicating over the Fagios, so keep that in mind. Uh, we also will need an Avenger. All right? and in, in your Avenger, you will want to own the vehicle workshop. And make sure you do have a vehicle in your facility that you can pull into the vehicle workshop here in, in the Avenger, like a Deluxo or Scramjet, something like that, that you could pull into the back of the Avenger. All right. Now, one more thing here. All right. We will need a Lester heist invite to the facility. Now, to get these, you want to just go ahead and do one setup over there at the uh, heist over there at the facility. Uh, then you should start getting invites. Now, you want to make sure you are registered as a CEO or MC president. Uh, that way Lester does start sending you the heist invites, alright? So we're going to go ahead and accept the facility heist invite here on our phone from Lester while we are standing outside of the arena. As you can see, we're standing outside of the arena, and we're going to go ahead and just accept the facility heist invite that Lester had sent us. And once we spawn here in the facility, all we're going to do is bring up our interactions menu, and we're going to invite our friend to the facility. Alright, so the friend that we had there standing next to us, we're just going to go ahead and invite them now to the facility. Alright guys. Now once you have sent the invite to your friend, you're going to make your way to your vehicle here that you can pull into the back of the Avenger. You're going to have your buddy jump into the passenger seat. Then you're going to hit right D-pad to pull into, into the back of the Avenger here. Once we are inside, we're going to hit circle here or B and then we are going to hover over exit the Avenger. Alright, so once you're hovered over exit the Avenger, you are going to have your buddy who is sitting in the passenger seat here. He's going to bring up his phone. He's going to go over to quick jobs and then he's going to go down to activities and he's going to start up any activity here like arm wrestling, darts, anything uh, in the activities. All right? He's going to go ahead and start one up and he's going to click on friends in session and he's going to start it up. All right? Now once it does say populating down in the bottom right, all right, once it says populating lobby, your friend is going to let you know and then you are going to go ahead and join him through his profile or uh, through the now playing list. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and join him now that he is populating. And then I'm going to decline the alert, all right? I'm just prepping the alert. That way, it comes in faster next time I need it. So, all right, so just go ahead and join them and decline the alert. Now, what we're going to do is click on Exit the Avenger and then immediately join our friend. Wait two seconds on the first alert and then accept it. And then wait two more seconds on the Unable to Connect alert and then accept that one. You should come down from the clouds. Your friend will be stuck on a infinite black loading screen. As you can see, uh, we will we will be under the map. Uh, you may be also on a black screen, but you should eventually die. Uh, so you either hear yourself dying on the black screen, or you will see yourself die under the map there. Uh, once you spawn up here, all right, we're going to run towards the front of the arena here. And as you can see, my friend is stuck on a black screen, but he is sitting in the Deluxo here in front of the arena. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just blow up the vehicle all right, to get him off the black screen. Uh, go ahead and just blow up your Deluxo or whatever vehicle it is that you have here that your friend is stuck in. Uh, go ahead and just blow it up and then as you see here your friend will then come off the black screen a after a little bit here. It may take a uh, 30 seconds or so, 20 to 30 seconds or so, but your friend will come off the black screen as you see here. Just have him run over towards you. Alright guys, and once he is over here, uh, we are good to go. Alright, your friend is now glitched out and ready to help you duplicate vehicles pretty uh, rapidly here. Alright guys, so once he's over here, just go ahead and run into your um, your arena here. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull out any random vehicle we have in here for our friend to sit in. Alright, now you can just go ahead and call out a vehicle outside there. You can call out any vehicle from anywhere that you would like. 
uh, as long as it's not from like the MC Clubhouse. Uh, but any random vehicle, basically you want to call out or just come in here and grab one and pull it outside for your friend here uh, so they can just basically sit in the vehicle for us, all right? Uh, so I'm just going to grab a random vehicle here in my arena. I'm going to pull it outside here to have my friend uh, go ahead and jump in, all right? Uh, so I'm going to have him jump into this random vehicle. Now, I do have my vehicle access set to passengers only, so I'm just going to change it here. That way, he can pull away a little distance. But basically, once your friend jumps in the vehicle, you're either going to have him pull away a good distance so you can call for a fagio through your MC options, or you can run away a little distance. That way, you can call for a fagio either way. Uh, but I'm going to have him pull away a good distance here. That way, I can go into my interactions menu, go into my MC uh, president options here, and I'm going to request for a fagio that I have through my MC options. As you see there, the Fagio does not actually show up, which is perfect. My friend is still in the vehicle. Uh, he's going to go ahead and just wait in the vehicle, and I'm going to run back into my arena here. Once I run back in my arena, I'm going to jump into the vehicle that I am looking to duplicate. I do highly suggest a fully upgraded Arena War Issy, as it will earn you the most amount of money for selling the duplicates. But once you jump in the car you're duplicating, as you can see here, we are able to drive around in the arena. So what we're going to do is block off both sides of the car here. Uh, so I'm just going to basically park up against a wall here and then use another vehicle to block off the driver's side. And what we're looking to do is teleport in and out of the ISI. All right, that's why we're blocking off both doors here. But uh, as you can see, I am teleporting in and out of the ISI. All right, make sure you are close enough to the exit door because you do want to make sure you can teleport in and out of the ISI while you are close to the exit door, just like that. But uh, once you are sure you are teleporting in and out of the vehicle there, all you want to do is go up to the exit door, hover over exit, and we're going to click on triangle or Y and X or A at the same exact time and you want to basically teleport into the vehicle as you are exiting alright as you can see there we did see ourselves teleporting in and what should happen here is you should spawn outside in the vehicle alright if you are not in the vehicle all you have to do is go ahead and run back in there and try again but uh, what we need to do once we are out here and we are in the ISI here is we're going to go ahead and request for our mobile operations center all right, that way we can save the duplicate here. Our friend is going to jump out of the vehicle he is in. As you can see, it did disappear once he jumped out, which is perfect. All right, once he jumps out and it disappears, you're going to make your way to your MOC here with your duplicate. That way you can save it. Uh, if you guys did not notice, the license plate did change the moment that I pulled outside. So it did become a duplicate at that moment. And now we're just going to pull it into the MOC to save it. Uh, and this is one successful duplicate, and it is now saved. So very, very cool, guys. Uh, to rinse and repeat, we're just going to pull out the duplicate here out of the MOC, and we are going to drive up to our friend, and this is the vehicle that we're going to have him sit in. Uh, then we're going to call for another Fagio, uh, then basically continue. All right, guys, so just go ahead and pull out the duplicate here out of the MOC, drive it back to your friend. Uh, of course, you can pull your MOC closer to the arena if you would like to make it a little bit quicker. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and have my friend sit into the the new duplicate here. And then I'm going to go ahead and run away a little distance. Or have them drive away a little distance either way. And then I'm going to request for another Fagio through my MC options. As you see, no Fagio actually shows up. I'm going to run back in my arena and then just continue from there. All right, guys. But uh, it's just as easy as that. All right, guys, that is pretty much going to cover it for this video here. I do highly appreciate you guys staying tuned in. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to smash that like button. And also feel free to subscribe. And remember to turn on that bell if you would like to become a part of the Noti fam here on the channel. This has been your boy, High Guy. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.